Hello, thank you for joining me for this gentle yoga flow. This is beginner friendly and uh, we'll just move real slowly and gently through the body with no judgment, no anything. We'll just move and breathe. So um, I know what you're thinking if you're new to this. <clears throat> I remember the very first yoga class I took. It was a beginner yoga class and um, I got done with it. And I was thinking to myself, my God that is beginner yoga i am gonna die and um <laughs> didn't realize how inflexible i was so um, i just needed a point to show up every day for myself and to move into my body and to make it a priority to stretch and to breathe and to find that space that um, i didn't have when i first started so I hope that if you find this difficult that you continue to show up, um, you can save the video and the more you do it, the more frequently you do it, the easier it becomes. Um, I teach locally here at two different studios and um, a lot of my students really enjoy this process. So um, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the people that keep returning to view the videos. Um, I really appreciate you. Um, we're just going to move real gently through the body. So you could possibly need two blocks and a strap. Um, we can grab those things and then we'll just meet here in a comfortable seated position on our mat. If this is a difficult position for you, you can utilize a block underneath your seat. That kind of helps elevate the hips and allows more space in those knees and the ground and everything. So just meet yourself wherever you'd like to be today. And we'll just place our hands down onto our knees. We're going to breathe in nice and slow. We're going to fill up those lungs with our breath as we roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Emptying the lungs nice and slow. We're just breathing here, feeling into the body. Noticing any areas that are <clears throat> holding on to tension or stress. Just observing how our body feels today. Tuning inwards. Really meeting ourselves right here, right now. Once you've found that breath, go ahead and bring those hands to your heart center. We'll take a deep breath in, filling up those lungs. And if you would like to, you can set an intention for today's practice. Once you set that intention, then you can go ahead and exhale through your mouth with a loud sigh, releasing anything that no longer serves you. Just letting it all go, arriving fully in this space. Go ahead and place those hands back down onto your knees. We're going to blink those eyes open if they were closed. We'll just start off by bringing that chin down to the chest. And then we'll roll that shoulder over to the right. And over to the left. Just moving nice and slow here, keeping those shoulders down away from the ears. Just rolling that neck nice and gently. And the next time your chin is to your chest, go ahead and take that chin up to the sky. Breathing in. On the exhale, bring that chin down to the chest. Trying to keep your spine long here. You're going to breathe in. Exhale, chin to chest. Looking up, let's go ahead and place the right fingertips down onto the ground. We'll reach up with that left arm towards the sky. And we'll keep that left glute grounded into the mat as we reach over towards the right. Try to keep that left shoulder up towards the sky. Keep the chest up. Exhale. Place those left fingertips down. We'll reach up with that right arm. We'll reach over towards the left, keeping those right glutes grounded. Our gaze is up towards that elbow. Breathing in, releasing anything in that side body. And then we're going to sweep that right arm back down 
over to the right, pick up the left, and just sweep back and forth here. Moving into that low back, the sides of the waist. This doesn't have to look like anything in particular. It just needs to feel real nice on the body. Making your way back to center. Go ahead and bring those hands together. Wrist, uh, we're going to do some wrist circles here. Moving nice and slow. <clears throat> and then we'll switch directions with those circles. Keeping those fingers interlaced, stretch them out long in front of you. We're going to breathe in and we're going to look up. Bringing those hands up to the sky. Exhale, bringing those hands down. Breathing in, looking up. Exhale. Release those hands, shake them out. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and come up into a tabletop position here. So go ahead and make sure that your hips are, your knees are hip width distance apart and that your wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders. We're going to grip onto the mat with our fingertips here. So we really want to be gripping onto the mat and then the pads of those fingers should be down as well. So we're creating a pocket of space in the, in the palm. We don't want to be dumping all of our weight down into the hands here. So we'll just grip onto that mat. Then as we do so, let's go ahead and tuck our tail under. We're just going to articulate every single vertebrae all the way up, rolling into this nice cat pose. We're going to untuck that spine, so untuck the tail, drop the pelvis down, belly down, chest is down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, looking up our cow. We're going to reverse this, tuck the tail, rounding that spine all the way up, pressing into those hands, rounding the spine, bringing that chin down to the chest. We'll do it one more time, untuck. Rocking back onto the heels and then back up. You can tuck your toes under and rock back and then rock forward. Bring into those toes, wrists. Now the next time your hips are to your heels, we're going to go ahead and press into the mat. We're going to lift those hips up towards the sky, coming into a downward facing dog. Just take this time here to feel how your body is feeling. When you're holding on to tension in some areas. The hamstrings tight. What does this feel like? Just observe. Go ahead and tiptoe those feet all the way up towards the hands at the front of the mat. Once you arrive there, just hang heavy here. You can grab on to the opposite elbows with your hands, hanging that head heavy, and just rock back and forth nice and gently. Releasing those elbows, placing those hands down onto the mat if, it, if it's possible, or you can bring those hands to the shins. Do a halfway lift here. Breathing in, bring those shoulder blades together, looking up. Exhale, bring the chest to the thighs. You can have your knees bent here. And your chest is to our thighs. Let's go ahead and straighten one leg and then the other. Maybe both legs at the same time. Releasing that. We're just going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, stacking the spine on top of itself, rolling the shoulders up, back and down. We're going to breathe in, bring those hands up to the sky. We're going to exhale and fold forward. Place those hands down onto the mat. Step that right foot back. Step that left foot back, coming into a plank. From here, we're going to press back into a downward facing dog.
From our downward facing dog, we're gonna go ahead and just drop those knees down onto the ground. We're gonna bring that right arm up to the sky. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna bring that arm through the body, placing that right arm on the ground with the right shoulder and the right ear. Pressing in the mat with that left hand, reach up one more time. Exhale, thread it through. Bringing that right hand back to the mat. We're gonna switch sides now, bringing that left arm up. Exhale, thread it through, bringing it under the body. Left ear, left shoulder to the mat. Breathing in. Exhale, thread it through. All right, now we're back into this tabletop position. We're going to tuck our toes under. We're going to come up into another downward facing dog. We're just going to hold this down dog, breathing nice and slow. Allowing those legs to just release. Press into the mat with those hands. Rotate your sit bones up towards the sky. Drop those heels down just a little bit closer to the mat. Beautiful job. Drop those knees down. We're gonna bring those legs long in front of us. We are then going to lower down onto our spine. So you can either grab onto the back of the legs here or you can lower down onto the forearms. We're down all the way onto the spine. I want you to grab those knees into your chest, rocking back and forth, nice and slow. We're gonna take our hands onto each of our knees and we're gonna open those knees out and do some knee circles here. And we'll switch directions. And we're going to go ahead and grab on the feet for happy baby, standing one leg and then the other. Bringing those knees in towards the armpits. If you can't grab onto your feet, grab onto your legs, whatever feels good for you today in your practice. You're doing a great job. I just want to remind you that I started doing this in 2021. I couldn't touch my toes, so anything is possible, and I believe in you. <laughs> Go ahead and release those feet down. We're going to hold on to those legs. We're going to roll up into a comfortable seated position on the mat. We're going to come into a butterfly pose. So go ahead and bring those feet together, knees apart. You can open your feet up like a book. I want you to breathe in nice and slow, filling up those lungs and putting your chest up through the arms, looking up. Exhale, round that spine, chin to chest. Now one more time, breathing in. Nice and slow, looking up. Exhale, chin to chest. Beautiful job. Extend that right leg out, bringing the left foot to the inside of that right inner thigh. Place the right hand down outside that knee. Reach up with that left arm. We're going to reach over towards those right toes. So we really want to be reaching here. So sitting down into the ground with those glutes. We don't want to be lazy here. We want to be nice and tall. Keep the arm long. Breathing in. Opening that chest. Let's see. Hip down. Great job. Rising up. Bring those feet together, knees apart. This time we're going to do some circles. Bring the chest long over those feet. And then we'll switch directions. Extend that left leg out, right leg in. Left hand down, reach up with that right arm. And then we're going to reach over towards those toes here. So you really just want to be reaching up. You don't want to be curved over here with that shoulder. Open it up towards the sky. Reach with intention with those right fingertips. Our gaze is up towards that elbow.
Just allowing some space in that side. Rising up. Open those legs out for a wide-legged fold. This doesn't have to look like anything in particular, so don't feel like you have to be really wide here. In fact, if this is difficult to do, grab that block. There's that block underneath here. I'll turn this way so you can see. So without the block, it can fold here. But with the block, see how much further I can go. And it helps give you just a little bit more space. So we're moving that pelvis, right? We're rocking the pelvis. Roll over here. Keep that low belly in. Those are pointed up. Thighs are spinning outwards. Holding here. Beautiful. Rising up. Bring those knees together. Move that block to the side. And we are done with our practice today. So you can come down into a lying down position, extending those feet out long in front of you. Hands are down by our sides, palms facing up. We're breathing in nice and slow. Getting ready to take our Shavasana, our final resting pose. Just appreciating where you are today in this space, in your practice. Focusing on that breath as we inhale in. As we exhale, we just melt deeper into the mat. Letting go of everything that no longer serves us. Just allowing ourselves to be no expectations. You can stay in your Shavasana for as long as you would like. When you're ready to end your practice, you can begin by making some small movements into your toes, wiggling them. Maybe picking up your feet and placing them onto the mat beneath you, windshield wipering those knees back and forth. You might even reach those arms up long overhead. Just intuitively move as you wake up your body. You can grab onto the back of your legs, rocking your way up into a comfortable seated position on your mat, or you can roll to one side or the other, helping yourself up. Once you found a comfortable seated position on your mat, go ahead and place those hands onto your knees, keeping your eyes closed, you're going to breathe in. Filling up those lungs nice and full. Holding that breath at the top. Exhale. Nice and slow. Thank you for joining me for your practice today. I hope you have a beautiful day. I look forward to practicing with you again. Namaste.